Welcome back to J Smokehouse, Delta 8 THC and our new cannabinoid informational series. Now, first, I want to just answer some basic questions for anyone looking for those really quick answers. But if you're interested, you can stick around afterwards where I will be going into Delta 8 THC on more of a molecular level so that you can better understand the differences between Delta 8 and Delta 9 THC. Now, before we get into this, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a scientist, I have no medical experience. This is all my own research and knowledge that I have gained from said research. However, you can find links to said research or at least some research in the description of this video. Now, the biggest question I have been asked is, can I pass a drug test on Delta 8 THC? Now, the short answer is probably not. Now, I'm not sure if this is true, but I have read that detoxes do not work for Delta-8. They don't target it, so you actually have to wait for the old-fashioned way for Delta-8 to get out of your system. So I wouldn't be looking for Delta-8 to be using in case you want to pass a drug test. But this is how it's going to be until we have a more accurate and better way of testing substances. Although, because it is becoming legal in many more states, I am sure that there are a lot of loopholes that you can use to get out of things. However, I like to be prepared, and I don't like to go with maybes or ifs. So if it was me, I would just go ahead and assume that I need to not do Delta 8 THC at least until I have passed said drug test, as long as it is legal in your state. Now to the next question. How is Delta-8 different from regular THC or Delta-9 THC as it's called? Now, later in the video, I will get into this more on a molecular level, as I have said. However, the basic way of explaining it is Delta-8 is psychoactive, just like Delta-9. However, most users of THC have reported much milder effects with very little anxiety-inducing effects. And also at the end of the video, I'll be giving my own personal input on how Delta 8 and Delta 9 differ for me personally. But beyond all that, another thing that a lot of people report is being very productive on Delta 8. And actually, I know quite a few people who prefer that because they do feel a lot of anxiety and a lot of anxiety inducing effects with high Delta 9 THC. Now to the last question I'm going to cover. Is Delta-8 THC synthetic or not? Now, Delta-8 THC is a natural occurring cannabinoid that was discovered, I believe, in 1965, one year after the discovery of Delta-9 THC. And that's very important to distinguish when talking about synthetic cannabinoids. It is actually a natural occurring cannabinoid. However, it's in very, very small amount. So it's actually very difficult to get large quantities of naturally derived Delta-8 THC. However, there is a way to convert CBD into Delta-8 THC. And actually, that was discovered well before the natural occurring cannabinoid in the 40s, I believe, that they actually accidentally converted CBD to Delta-8 THC and found out that it was psychoactive. But apparently, there's a lot of misinformation on Delta-8 being synthetic, like a lot of other cannabinoids that are fully synthetic. And I do not necessarily support any fully synthetic cannabinoids. I like organic cannabinoids. And the fact that we can make an organic cannabinoid is okay by me, as long as we're very, very transparent about it being a naturally derived Delta-8 THC or a converted Delta-8 THC. That is very important, at least to me personally. As long as it is very clearly labeled, I have no problem with it being converted. Now, those of you who have stuck around are intrigued about learning about Delta-8 at a molecular level, here we go. Now, the images that I will be using for you to follow along are very basic knowledge of the molecule. So I do suggest that you look at the links in my description if you would like to see the full scope of the molecular level of these cannabinoids. The first thing that we're gonna look at is the carbon chain of the molecule. Now, this is actually where Delta-8 and Delta-9 get their names. They get their names from the position of the double bond on their carbon chain. Delta-9 THC, the double bond is at the ninth position on the carbon chain. And so, if you have guessed it, Delta-8 THC is on the eighth position. And so, this is actually how they get their names, Delta-8 and Delta-9 THC. And so, if you can tell, these are almost identical identical molecules. The only difference is the position of that double bond. 
However, it does make a very big difference in their potency. Another thing I want to cover very quickly is the alkyl side chain of the cannabinoid. And that is depicted right here. Now, the importance of the alkyl side chain is this is what actually attaches to your cannabinoid receptors in your endocannabinoid system. If it has anything less than a three term alkyl chain, apparently it will not attach to your receptor. And then anything more than an eight or nine term alkyl chain will actually also not be able to bind to your receptors. And so as you can see, both Delta eight and Delta nine have a five term alkyl chain. However, and I will get into this in another episode, but we have other analogs of THC. And analogs of THC just mean varieties of THC. But we have another analog of THC that actually has a seven-term alkyl chain. And the importance of this is it actually has the potential to being much more potent than Delta-9. But again, like Delta-8, it's in very, very small amounts. Now to my own personal experience between Delta-8 and Delta-9 THC. Now, the way I will explain it is Delta-8 is kind of like climbing a mountain that you never really reach the top. You can see the crest, but you can never get to the top and look over. And so you can get very high up there. However, you never crest. At least that's how it was for me. Now, the nice thing about this is I could really hit Delta-8 all throughout the day and be very productive and get a lot of things done. Be very focused. However, one con to this is you're actually continuously hitting on your Delta-8. At least I was for me. I, I would just continuously hit it because I was never actually getting there. And so I would actually go through quite a lot very quickly. Now, I do know that they're doing a lot of research on Delta-8 as being medicinal. And I very much support this because I truly believe that Delta-8 does have a lot of potential medicinally especially for those who don't want to get that full psychoactive effect of Delta 9 THC or anything stronger. Now, if you enjoyed this video, you learned anything about Delta 8 that you did not know, please leave a like and a comment and let me know what you think. And please let me know in the comments what cannabinoid you would like to see on next episode. And new episodes will be coming out on Sundays. And don't forget to subscribe so you can stay up to date with videos coming out in the future. And now, as always, Jay is going to go smoke a Jay.